What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. So my buddy Eric is about to pull up. He is the owner of the Hellcat. He wants to install a new intake on his car that he got. And I'm sure that thing is gonna scream. So he's about to pull up, so let's go check it out. You ready to hear this thing scream? Dude, it's gonna, I, I have a feeling that it's gonna make me want to get the mufflers cut off because <laughs> I think the supercharger is going to over, overpower everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking ready, man. I, I've been what you, What'd you get? This is a leg maker. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've, I've heard, heard of things. this. I've heard B. Woody makes a pretty awesome sound, too. Mm -hmm. um, again, I hear that the Dodge intake is actually the best for performance-wise, but, you know, I figure we can swap this at the... the I really. I've heard good things about... The, this is... They call it... Uh, LMI, right? LMI, yeah. Let yeah. Me take. I've heard about this. Yeah, they're, they're saying that it actually is supposed to give you five to ten horsepower, but some people say without tune. Some people say you have to have a tune with it. And yeah. You know, I'm not looking for horsepower gains necessarily. I just want that noise. That sound. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know what we should do? What's that? I feel like we should take it on a test drive, and get like a before and after Let's do it, yeah. of the sound. Let's do that. You want to pop the hood? Yeah. Yeah. I want to see if we can we can put a GoPro somewhere under there. You know, I, I haven't looked actually if we could do that. That would be cool. Just give it a little rip and then, just to hear what it what the sound it makes now. If you want it in then, default mode? Yeah. I feel like it will bring it out even more, right? It's gonna be three times louder. You think? Oh my god, yeah. I, it's, like I said, I think it may end up like actually like annoying me a little bit. Like, I don't, <laughs> no, think, it's, I don't, I don't think, think it's actually gonna happen, but like, yeah. I'm probably gonna be pissed that I don't hear the exhaust as much. Cause like, yeah. it, this thing really does need a bit muffler to leave. I'm just not trying to piss neighbors off. Yeah. Yeah, scary. it's gonna be, yeah. But, but, but I like that because I'm not gonna have the speed to hear it. You know, I don't yeah, like having to drive thing, like yeah. a dick to hear my own supercharger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, what is it called again? This is a LMI intake. LMI, it's called what? Leg? Leg maker intake. Leg maker, okay. So it brings a carbon fiber, pipe so this thing is how much do you think that is like six inches it's huge it's probably about five like five yeah so it's, it's pretty beefy brings the couplers the clamps you said this is a rain rain guard yeah so the top once it's done. yeah it brings the filter over there it's an s and b filter and then it brings the filter socks so we're gonna get installing this it doesn't look like it has much to it really it has a mass airflow sensor and then this is this is probably like pcv stuff right i'm guessing i think so yeah there's two things to unclip yeah i think it's just yeah that's the only two things on this pipe so let's start by i'm pretty sure this just pops out of here i think you're right there we go there we go so step one Step one. And then now it's just about taking this off, getting the air box off, and then we'll go get a socket for that. Okay. So it needs a T20 to take the mass airflow out. T20. T20. Go right in. We're going old school. <laughs> We're using ratchets instead of power tools. Hey man, old school is always best. 
I don't know why recently I've been just using hand tools, dude. I don't know Feels what. Better. Yeah, I feel like you feel like you're actually working on a car more. Power tools definitely make things a lot easier. Yeah, it, it does. And faster. So that's the thing at a shop, like that's what's most important. But if you're doing this for yourself and at home, like might as well just enjoy the process. Yeah. That's the thing. So there we go. So we got this part out. We just have to take the filter off and see if there's any bolts holding down the bottom part. Okay. So see what I mean? How like this filter is just yeah, flat? Yeah, just flat. Wow. Yeah, so. so let's see. Dude, I think it's only this one. Awesome. So I mean, if that's the case, I could have taken it all out at once. <laughs> I think that's what other people have done in their videos. Really? Yeah. Oh, crap. I should have watched one. <laughs> it's funny because I've watched like four of them. And I oh, you have? Yeah. You already knew how to do this. Pretty sure you have to squeeze these tabs to get this out. I think this is the most difficult part. Getting it out? Yeah. I believe it. It's kind of snugged in there. There we go. I think it's coming out. There we go. Easy right. does it. And so what I is that? I oh, believe that's this, the headlight. So this tube comes right out as well. That's the headlight vent. Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. I think we can put this on now. So we gotta get the coupler. Oh, this slides over this, okay. Packed it tight. <laughs> it's tight. So yeah, I think this just slides over this. I think. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna be like a super, super tight fit. It's supposed to be really fucking tight. It almost feels sketch. That's what I'm saying. They're saying you gotta be careful because the carbon fiber could crack, but it's, it's gotta be like kind of weaseled on there. Holy crap, but it, like look, if you line it up back here, it's basically like, I guess, it's like perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be hard. Those chickens haven't been that noisy in so long. I think they know the Hellcats here. I think so. <laughs> I think. If I do that, I'm gonna try with these plastic ones to see if we get something done. It's super tight. I think we might have to do this together. Ooh, I think it's going, is it going in? So the back side needs to be kind of wedged. Oh, I think the back is what's coming out. We may need to like, lube the edges up a little bit. I don't even That's know. what I'm thinking, maybe. You want to hold it? I'm going to go get some lube. Okay. Get some KY Deli. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we should do is like put it in this side and then just try to open this side up. You wanna hold this one too? Yeah, yeah. Let's get this one started right here. That's the last piece, then we'll slide right in. Push down. Is it going in? Yeah, we're, we're everywhere. In, we're in there. Every, I mean, so on the back side is the last piece right oh. here. Pulled it out. Yes. It went in? We're in. No way. We're in. We just gotta finish pushing it in a little more. Yes. Yeah. All the way in. Yep. Oh! <laughs> when it went in, it went in. Like a glove. <laughs> now we just gotta throw the clamp on. The lube helped. The lube, KY jelly, I mean, silicone spray. <laughs> Astroglide, I mean. <laughs> All right. I think we're gonna request backup here. Get the power tool. Actually, no. I am the power tool. <laughs> That's right. Let's go ahead and open this sock. Remember, always wear protection, okay? Exactly. It's gonna look so weird, man. <laughs> I gotta hold it like this. <laughs> oh, man. One likes certain installs more than others. <laughs> Hey, I have a kid. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, you, you never learned this in uh, <laughs> high school. I do remember them fitting this tight, though. <laughs> this is a very tight fit, dude. 
We gotta go little by little on this. It's that tight. Jesus. What material is that? I have no idea. It looks awesome. Yeah, it's it's like super waterproof. Like if you were to get a water bottle and dump it, it would just fall right off. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. So everything with the leg maker intake is super tight. Snug. Yeah. I wonder if we're supposed to put the clamp over it. Um, do you think there's any issues of it coming off on its own? No. Hell no. Then, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't, yeah, maybe not because I feel like the clamp wouldn't sit flat. Because yeah, I think it would actually compromise the... Yeah. Damn, look, I got this right on the money too. No, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, I didn't even do it on purpose. Yeah, you All just right. got that touch though. Subconsciously, you're on another level. Probably just another snug fit. I think that's the, the reoccurring theme here. The leg maker way. I guess that's where all the horsepower comes from. <laughs> this is some good lube though. Yeah, looks like it's going right back on. It works for round two. <laughs> <laughs> that is good lube. Yeah, if, if the lube's still good for round two, you definitely that. recommend. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Dude, we're good. Yeah, we're good. That's, that's as good as it gets. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Oh, they give you new bolts here too. Nice. So that's where the horsepower comes from. That's what it is. <laughs> bolts. The LMI bolts. So the ones provided are T10s. So we said the other ones were what T20s, right? The stock ones are T20s. T20s. And then the ones provided with the kit are T10s. T10s. One more ugga dugga. All right. So that's on, that's on. We just gotta get the cover on now. How does this go though? I think it just sits there. Really? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm trying to figure out how, oh, like that maybe? Maybe that lip holds it on? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, let's try it out. Now the fun part. Yeah, you can hear it, dude. Yeah. Right? Oh my god. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Not being a muffin on there. Yeah, oh my god, this thing would scream. Alright, All right, so we're going on a test drive now that the intake is on. We have a GoPro in the engine bay to hopefully capture like the raw sound of the supercharger. It feels faster already. <laughs> it's those uh the little bolts, the T10s. I think so. And the lube. <laughs> and the lube, you're right. Not too loud either. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, dude. Shit. That sounded so nice. Those are the <laughs> what? The what? I was trying to see if it would make noise on a downshift. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's perfect. Yo, that sounds so cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That. That sounds so cool. It's just barely any throttle. Yeah. That sounds so nice, dude. I love it, dude. Thank you so much again. The, like, 
I don't know what it is. It's like the going up in revs or going down or what is it? But the going up, right? Yeah. Is what it sounds weird. Now the front's got more life on, I should put those back on, but yeah, I'm should. probably just going to buy a new set. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it's so fast. This bad. thing, dude, it just wants to eat. Dude, that's 2,000 RPM. It's nothing. I love dude. it. Dude. <laughs> Outside the car too. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if we should do a drive-by. You want to? Yeah. Let's cool. go down there, and then I'll step out, and then you can just drive. Sounds good. The last time you filmed, you heard the supercharger like even stock uh, me coming down the road. Walking though, dude. Yeah. Damn it! This guy had to ruin all the fun. See if he floors it. Ooh, I don't know if you guys caught that, but you can hear the wine all the way from here. All right, guys, so there you have it. It's always fun hanging around with friends, especially when they have really fast cars. We're gonna be setting up a day where me, him, and other friends like John with S, or he has an M3 now. But um, yeah, basically other car guy friends, we're gonna see if we can all get together with there's an airport around here which we can make some cool content at so make sure you're subscribed so that you guys don't miss out on that but that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys for watching if you liked it make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and while you're down there hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time i post a new video but that's gonna do it for this one so as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas